We were in for the long haul here at Mkuzi Game Reserve. Finding and filming the Pels would have us up and patrolling at Sparrow's Fart for a good couple of weeks. But the sun was out, the birds were chirping, and a faint crackling from a nearby campsite reminded us that not everyone is suited to survive in the bushveld. So much for glamping. You can't eat. <laughs> Getting from the Rhino Diner. Hello, hello. <laughs> Find a location, scan it bare, and repeat. That was our mission for the coming weeks. But with the exception of the occasional less fortunate caravan, Mkuzi is a beautiful place with incredible wildlife. It was even the time of year for the black-bellied bustard to break out his ridiculous courtship display. Also out and about was the Inyala, a common yet secretive antelope with a lovely tail to it. And by that I mean story. It is believed that in the early days of creation, he who made everything descended from the heavens and placed his hands on Nyala's face. His fingers left white prints on Nyala's cheeks and his thumbs on Nyala's forehead. Not to mention the big wet kiss on his nose. Back to business. Like detectives on a case, we were following every lead we had on the Pels. Every water source and every tree checked over and over and over again. Nearby, trouble was stirring. The culprits were weavers. Masked and village weavers were gathered around the pan in what seemed like an intense nest building competition. Under the watchful eye of some skeptical females, the male weavers kept a steady beak while making their new homes. One blade of grass out of place in his precious nest could suffer a grisly fate. A disapproving female won't hesitate to cut the nest off at the base and drop it into the water below. She's got kids to raise, get your act together. Luckily some of the males have figured out that bribery with small food objects earns them the necessary brownie points. But they weren't out of the woods yet. A weaver's life is hard, and the presence of a Diederik's cuckoo didn't make it any easier. Cuckoos are famous for laying their eggs in other birds' nests, and the Diederik's was on the prowl. For a bird looking to parasitize the weaver's nest, the Diederik's lacked a degree of subtlety. In fact, he seemed to be putting on a show. This individual was attempting to distract the weavers, lure them away from their nest so that the female could sneak in and lay her eggs unnoticed. The male did this by making as much noise as possible. But our weavers weren't falling for it. No success with the pals today. I had the feeling that I might be here for a while. Don't forget to subscribe and keep up with the latest adventures, and read about my greatest journey yet in my book Josh's Big Year, Deserts to Jungles. Let the treasure hunt continue.